A Metro woman is alive this morning thanks to the very quick thinking actions of her friends and family members in the seconds after she collapsed without warning. Her family literally saved her life. As we partner with the American Heart Association during American Heart Month, it's our hope that by sharing Lisa Bachman's story, even more lives will be saved. Nine years ago, nearly to the week. It was a Tuesday. It was a Tuesday. It was a weekday. <laughs> just came from school, making dinner. It was an ordinary night in the Bachman house until it wasn't. My husband and I ran upstairs to change our clothes from the day, and I collapsed. I heard a loud bang or thud. I didn't know what it was, and I just heard my dad start screaming her name, freaking out, and then he started saying, you know, just screaming like my wife's not breathing. To this day, Lisa does not know what caused her heart to stop beating. What she does know, why it beats today. I just knew Nikki, my next door neighbor, was a nurse. I knew she could do something, so I just ran out there. I was, it was winter, so it was freezing cold. I was barefoot, so I was, you know, just running on ice out there. <laughs> I was in my socks, and I just ran through the yard in the snow and came over here. And she entered the house and ran upstairs, but even a well-trained nurse can be overcome by emotions. I froze for a minute before, you know, it's like, oh my gosh, you know, it's like, this is, this is real, you know, really real. It's like, that's, that's, you know, a good friend laying there and I, you know, she needs help. Nikki didn't freeze long. Upstairs, she sprang into action and started CPR. Meanwhile, Darian anxiously awaited downstairs, but he knew his work wasn't done. A few minutes later, maybe like 10 minutes later, the ambulance came, but they all went down the street. An error in Google Maps incorrectly placed the Bachman's house down the street, but it was a mishap Darian anticipated. For some reason, I knew they were going to go to the wrong house as it is. So I ran outside, had to run down and scream down there that they're going to the wrong house. I think they busted into the house down there already. <laughs> With the paramedics finally at Lisa's side, the situation was dire. Shocked me three times and there was no response. Um, so they shocked me again and there was finally a blip on the screen and they rushed me to the hospital. And I thank you very much for everything. In light of, of all the, the tragedy that happened that evening for him, he was able to keep his head, and that made me feel uh, pretty proud. You just kind of live invincible as a kid, and it, I kind of, at a young age, learned things, things aren't like that. You know? And as his mom learned, Darian was no ordinary 13-year-old boy. 13 years old. Gosh. Twice he stepped up in a big way to save no his, his mother's life. Incredible. Remarkable. Yeah. As you saw and you pointed out, she, she appeared to be in great yeah. health. Yeah. She was, she is, she was 36 at the time when this oh. happened, had no signs of any heart problems or health problems, and it happened like that. That is crazy. Kudos to that. Right. Her young son. Of, you think you're yes. mom, and then you're so young, mm -hmm. and he did the right thing twice. And the neighbor, Nikki, who was a nurse, knew CPR. Her, that, she's probably the one who saved uh, Lisa's life until yeah. the paramedics could get there. Wow.